Now the trickiest part, but first go to app.js and update the state so it would be flipped false by default. Go to front site index.js and here what we want to do is so that the app would fetch the new weather data every time we change the city. Currently it fetches the new data only when component is mounted. So basically only when we initially open this page and it mounts the components inside the component tree. And we want to also update it when the props did change and current city is updated. So first let's move this code to a separate function, update weather. And uh, still call it on component did mount. Now let's update it when we update the props. And here we are going to use React's get derived state from props method. This method is, is static. And it takes two parameters, next props and pref state. If you check how the cities.json look like, you will see that every city has unique WOE ID. So if next props city WOID is not equal to pref state pref city ID. And yeah, we're going to add pref city ID to our state now with default value of null. So then we return the following. Pref city ID becomes next prop city where ID and current weather becomes null. Otherwise we just return null. Oh also it's not city, it's current city. So basically what happens here is that if city changes, we set, we set current weather to null, otherwise we change nothing. And if you check the document, documentation for this method, the get derived state from props, you will see how it works. So it's invoked right before calling the render method, and then it should return the new state or null if you're not going to update anything. And now to update the component when weather is null, define the component did update method. Current weather is defined. Return null. So we do nothing. Otherwise, call the update weather. Important note, in update weather method, we need bound this. Uh, so in order to do this, define it as a narrow function. Now go to the end of the front side in text.js and update the current city name. It should be the title of current city. Now, if you click the options button, select another city and flip back, you should see that the city changed. Let's check if we really fetch the new temperature each time. Let's log the current weather. We've got the weather when the app was mounted. Let's try to change the city. We've got new temperature. Yeah, they differ just a bit. <laughs> yeah, apparently St. Petersburg and Stockholm usually have almost the same weather. So good job. At this point you have fully functional weather application.